morning. I've got you propped up on a load of toilet roll. I'm actually filming it on the action cam ears. I didn't want to put my big camera up there in case it fell off. So, as random starts the gig, I'm just brushing my hair. It's the right old state. So it's about 11.30, I think, on Sunday morning. Late night last night, we got in from our Kaylee gig and we had a couple of beers, actually, I must admit, and stayed up till two, I think, chit-chatting around the table and quietly playing traditional music tracks to each other on the phones, <laughs> things like that. Anyway, they're having a play now. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear. I'm mad for it. But we're going for breakfast and then I'm going back home to my daughter. I'm going to administer TLC and love and care because she's not really well at the moment. As I said in yesterday's, I'm not going to talk about her particular things for just she is there, so I'm going back. Anyway, that was a bit long-winded. Yeah, right, I'm gonna tie this up properly and, and get packed up and get ready to go. Going downstairs. You go, happy Paddy's Day. It's a nice little tune for you. <laughs> This magnificent <laughs> specimen is made by someone called Chris Wilkes. This is a simple system float. It's a bit different to mine, as you see, there's no keys on it. Pure blackwood. Who would play a flute like that? Somebody's had a sleepover. Tony! His mother. The amazing guitarist from last night. <laughs> plays a flute. You're going to play us a tune for Paddy's okay, Day. I will play your tune for Paddy's Day. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is great. We're in Abergavenny, we just parked the car up and we're going to go and have a breakfast together. All three of us. That's a big one, isn't it? I don't know where we're going, but IB knows. For some reason we've got ribbons tied in the trees, I wonder why that is. Oh, look, look, look. I, oh, I was convinced I saw buds. Yes, I do see buds. Spring is coming, it's official. Big area picnic benches in. Look, there's a swing. Woo, that's fun. Oh, where did they go? I'm lost. Um, Narcissus, those are cute ones, they're quite different, they've got sticky outy bits on them that I don't normally see. Not the trumpet of, of usual ones. Oh no, I'm lost. I don't know if they went in somewhere. They might have gone in here, I'd better have a look. Yes, I see them in the distance. I lost you. I was nearly going to phone you. So you were doing your thing. I was vlogging, yes. I still am, in fact. We walking and vlogging at the same time. I know what I'm having. They do half-sized portions here. Full veggie breakfast or half veggie breakfast. So I'm going to go for that and we'll see what it is when it comes. This is where we are. The trading post in Abergavenny. Do you want to start with a big spoon? Oh, yeah, yeah, go on then. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. <laughs> we can need a bit more milk. <laughs> My half veggie breakfast is here. Got a meaty one over there. As well. <laughs> well, I went home. Uh, checked in with my daughter. She's fine. Her friend's still with her, and she's having a lovely time. So I've popped out for a walk, but I'm being thwarted by flooding as you may notice. I'm wondering if I can get onto that bank there and scramble along that way. It's a bit muddy but otherwise I'm going to take a really boring route. I like the off-road ones really, it's pleasant you know, you hear the birds singing and see the greenery. 
Oh yeah, it's going to be a bit mucky, but I think I can manage it. The walk is back on. Yeah, fancy the walk I did. It actually wasn't raining. I've actually got sun on my skin. No. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, yeah, my daughter's friend is still with her, so I won't be living on her own anyway. So I've just nipped out now, and when I get back, I've got loads of admin to do. I've got to generate an invoice for last night's gig and email that off. I need to do some paperwork with that as well. Fill something in. Also send that off together with that. And I want to do some editing as well. I might not practice my flute today. I might have a day off from it, we'll see. So yeah, I just wanted to get a bit of exercise in fresh air now while it was a good opportunity. And then I'll get my head down and get some work done then when I get in. That footpath turned into a stream again. I think my once waterproof footwear is a year on now. Well, more than a year on now since I got them here. Not as waterproof as they were. Uh, I'm going for the stepping stone approach. It's very pretty though. Camera doesn't do it justice. It's sort of sparkling in the sunlight. It's like looking at pretty jewels, diamonds and things, but just fresh water from up there. Can't wish me luck now. <laughs> Beautiful whales, eh? Oh, it's muddy though, underfoot. Very boggy. Oh my gosh, that turned into a long nap. It's 20 past seven in the evening now. Oh dear, I haven't filmed very much today because I've been sleeping it. Anyway, I did get the invoice done and I did do some other paperwork, so I got that done and sent off ready for Monday morning when staff are back in, so that's good. So the payment can start being processed, hopefully. Um, and not much else, really. I just slept. I need to get dinner on now, but before I do, like, I need to sort this dishwasher because <laughs> there's more stuff to go in it, basically, and I don't want to be cooking in a cluttered kitchen, so I'll make a start on that. Oh, I did do a wash load and hung it out. That was one thing I actually achieved. And I filled up the dishwasher and ran it as well. I suppose that's something else I accomplished. I'm going to make a meal out of these things, the corn pieces. I was going to use the mince, but there just wasn't enough in the packet, so I didn't. Passata, and the tomatoes, I'll probably use both, I think, probably. Got that much aubergine to use up. Green pepper, the rest of that green pepper, the rest of that courgette, one mushroom, and the tagliatelle that's left over. I'm nearly running out of vegetables again. God, I don't have to get through veg. I really do. I'm sauteing my aubergine, the whole lot of it, because I don't have a lot of other veg to cook, really, in some olive oil, and I've got a little bit of just coriander in as well, powdered, not loads, probably a teaspoonful. I don't know how this is going to come out. I don't really like sharing exact recipes because I always make it up and I never know till I eat it whether it's going to be worth sharing or not and then the moment's kind of past then. I'm going to chop this courgette up, dice it I think. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is the best filming angle because I can't actually get my arm in properly because of the tripod. <laughs> Didn't think that through. But because I'm basically trying to cook in real time and I'm trying not to burn things and yeah, I'm going to just get it in the pan. I'm leaning around you now. Yeah, I know. It's because there's a tripod in the way and it's big. <laughs> this is a bit more sensible. Uh oh, singeing the aubergine a little bit. Smells nice though. Decided to put the garlic in a bit later. I, can, I just can never quite figure out the best time to put garlic in. I think later is better. Everyone else seems to put it in with the oil with their onions, but I just nearly always burn it when I do that. Oh look, it's on the move that bit. <laughs> that leftover pepper going in. I'm going to uh, chop that one up now. I might not cook all of it actually. I'm going to save that much for tomorrow for my lunch. Last mushroom going in. I'll let that cook a bit, I think, before I add anything else to it. I shall wrap the kettle on now then for the pasta. I can't decide how many portions this should be. It does say two for a full packet. Obviously, there's only half of it left, exactly half. But last time I kind of felt, for most people, that wouldn't have been enough. But I feel like, for most people, the whole thing is too much for two people. But anyway, I don't know. I think I've put a bit too much oil in, really. My hand slipped. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to add something liquidy now. I haven't put the corn in yet, so I'm going to regret doing that. It's going to spit all over my lens. A bit of that as well. I haven't put the pasta on yet. It doesn't take long though, that other stuff. I'm going to do the corn chunks. And so they'll sort of stew in the juices, really. Yeah, save some for another meal. Doesn't look that liquidy, does it? I'm tempted to just. I like it really sloshy, me. That's all. Chuck quite a bit in. That much. Hooks. 
Oxo cube. Check the Oxo cube in. So that's half a packet cooked of the Tesco's Tagliatelle fresh pasta. So you can sort of gauge the amount a bit as my hand for reference. I'm going to serve this up now. Oh, I added a bit of soy sauce. I told you everything else I put in there, so I thought, oh, I better mention that as well, just a little bit. Here we are, bowled up, that's hers. That's mine, I've got grated mature cheddar and crushed chilies on mine. That pretty much rounds up our weekend. We're gonna sit and enjoy this together now, have a little catch up, I'll chat about what she's done with her friend, how she is, and bits and bobs, thoughts. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Do feel free to give it a like, and there's a playlist of other videos from me there, just in case you'd like to watch any of them. See ya, bye!